guys, me here. Today I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions about my hair and I'm also going to give some tips on hair growth and how to achieve shine. But before I get started, I just wanted to mention a little bit about my hair type. I think I have thin hair. Yeah, I consider this to be thin. And my hair is naturally straight but I always curl the ends. And my hair is also chemically treated because I dye it a light brown color twice a year. And I blow dry my hair daily so it does take a bit of heat. And yeah, I guess that's about it for my hair type. So without further ado, let's get started with the frequently asked questions. Most of the products I use can be found on flatironexperts.com. I'll also list a bunch of my favorite hair products in the video description below. So feel free to check them out afterwards. The answer is no. This is my natural hair. I don't wear extensions. People also ask me if I have my hair rebonded and the answer to that is also no. This is my natural hair in its natural state. Well, except for the bottom because I curled it. No, my natural hair color is black and as I mentioned earlier, I dye my hair twice a year and I usually pick a really light brown color. And I use all sorts of brands. I've used Garnier, L'Oreal. The last time I dyed my hair, I used Claro. I'll always go for a light brown color. Sometimes I'll pick ultra light brown. Some people have really stubborn black hair. It's hard to dye brown. Like my sister, I try using the same dye. I use on myself on her hair, but her hair remains black just because she has really stubborn black hair. So in those cases, you might have to use a little bit of bleach to lift your color. They're called side sweat bangs, so if you go to the salon, that's what you ask for. But if you want to, you can also try cutting your bangs yourself at home, which I have a tutorial on. So if you guys want, I'll place the link down below. The shampoo I use is by Macadamia Natural Oil and this is called the Rejuvenating Shampoo. You can get this from flatironexperts.com and I'll place the link down below. And I like this because it's paraben free, sulfate free and it's also color safe. So if you have color treated hair like I do, it won't fade away the color. And I also like this because it doesn't weigh my hair down after I wash the product off. It's a really lightweight shampoo and it's also really moisturizing. The only downfall for this shampoo is that it's a really mild cleanser just because it doesn't have sodium lauryl sulfate. So you don't get a lot of foaming action which is why once a week I use a clarifying shampoo to get rid of all the gunk in my hair. And the one I'm using right now is by Garnier. This is the Pure Clean and I decided to pick it up because there's no silicone. It also contains no dye and it's paraben free. And you can get this at any drugstore but the thing is this shampoo is really drying well as with most clarifying shampoos because what a clarifying shampoo does is it strips everything off your hair so that your hair is squeaky clean so that makes your hair really dry so right after I use this I always apply a deep conditioner or a hair mask I use two the first one is the macadamia moisturizing rinse and this is a so-so conditioner it's not very hydrating but it does detangle knots my favorite conditioner is actually a hair mask and it's the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I love this because this is the thing that makes my hair super soft and silky. It's a really rich cream that looks like this and I would scoop out a quarter size amount onto my hand and I would use it in conjunction with the healing oil treatment that's also from the same line. So I would just squirt this with the hair mask and I would mix the two products together and apply it to the tips of my hair because the ends of my hair tend to be the driest and this just makes my hair super soft and manageable so this is my absolute holy grail well I think most of it has to do with genetics because for those of you who don't know we're all born with different hair follicle shapes and mine just happened to be round and the thing with round hair follicle shapes is that they will grow out straight and when your hair is straight the cuticles lay flat which reflects light and other people might be born with um, oval shaped hair follicles and when your follicles are oval shaped your hair will be wavy and it will grow out wavy and wavy hair is a little bit shiny as well but not as shiny as straight hair just because light isn't reflecting off of it as evenly and the last hair type is a really flat hair follicle and flat hair follicles will grow out kind of kinky which will result in nappy hair and kinky or really curly hair doesn't shine because instead of reflecting light it actually absorbs it first off wash your hair every two days because your hair follicles actually contain an oil secreting gland which makes your hair shiny so you don't want to wash away those oils every day. Oh, and I don't want to confuse people because whenever I tell people that I wash my hair every other day, people assume that I don't shower, but no. I shower every day and I rinse my hair with water, but every two days I use shampoo. 
You also want to eat healthy and stay positive because stress and lack of proper nutrients actually decrease the secretion of oil so your hair will end up more dry and this will not only affect your hair, you can also tell when you're not eating healthy by looking at your skin and your overall mood. You know when you eat something like a cheeseburger and fries, you feel kind of lethargic. Another thing you can do is wash your hair in warm water and when you're done, you want to run it through cold water. What this will do is the cold water will close your hair follicles and this will reduce frizz and increase shine. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about frizzy hair. As you know, frizzy hair is not very desirable because it can look a bit messy and it definitely does not shine. So there are ways to fix frizzy hair, but I'm going to talk a little bit about frizzy hair first. So let's say this is your hair follicle or a strand of hair. When you have frizzy hair, your cuticles, which is the outermost layer of your hair, is actually raised. So when it's raised, it tends to give the appearance of frizz. So what you want to do is you want to smooth out that layer or the frizz. And what you can do is you can apply a surface treatment to your hair. And this is oftentimes a shine serum or a spray. But I use a few serums that work very well to reduce frizz. So as I mentioned, these surface treatments basically only treat the surface of your hair because what they do is they will fill in the little pores or gaps and it will make your hair look smooth. And when your hair is smooth, the light will reflect off of it giving the appearance of shine. So here are a few products that I like, and the first one is by BioSilk. This is the Silk Therapy. I also have a big bottle of this, but this is my travel size. And what you do is you apply this to damp hair and blow dry, and after that your hair is really shiny. Another one I like is by Chi, and this is the Chi Silk Infusion. This one is quite popular. You would just apply a dime size amount, and I usually just apply it to the ends because that's where it tends to frizz the most. And then you would, again, blow dry your hair and makes your hair shiny. Now if you're trying to grow your hair out, you want to be very gentle and you don't want it to break. So when you comb your hair, you want to start from the tips and comb it out first, then the middle, and then the top. You don't want to start at the top and then work your way down because what this will do is it will catch the knots in the middle and then you're going to have a hard time uh, brushing it down. So always start at the bottom when you're brushing your hair. And also hair is really delicate when it's wet so never ever comb through wet hair. What you want to do is you want to towel dry your hair first and after it's towel dried you want to apply your favorite detangler or serum and then you can grab a wide tooth comb like this. So you would apply the serum in your hair and just comb through to evenly distribute the product and after that blow dry. To prevent your hair from breaking, you want to keep your hair moisturized because hydrated hair is much stronger than dry brittle hair. And what you can do is when you're shampooing or washing your hair, you want to wash your hair in very warm water and that way your hair follicles will open up which will allow the conditioner or the hair mask to penetrate your hair better. And that will make your hair much stronger and moisturized. Another thing you can do to stimulate hair growth is to massage your scalp daily and what this will do is it will increase the circulation and open up your roots and thus making your hair grow and hair actually grows underneath the scalp and you can also do this when you're in the shower because heat also helps heat helps with everything like even when you're dyeing your hair when I shower or no, when I shampoo I would massage my scalp and just relax because it's also very relaxing now besides conditioning your hair to keep it hydrated, you can also do a hot oil treatment which can be very effective. I don't do it too often because the process is a bit messy and all you have to do is get your favorite oil. You can use olive oil or argan oil. Personally, I like argan oil and you would just squirt it all over your hair. Then you want to get a wet towel, put it in the microwave until it's hot and then you would wrap this towel around your hair. And of course what the heated towel will do is it will open up your hair follicles and allow for the oil to penetrate into your hair better. So that is what an oil treatment does and it's very hydrating. The only thing is it's a bit messy and I much prefer to just use the hair mask. So it's all up to you. And a lot of people also use fruits and different types of remedies to do this treatment. I've seen people use mayo and eggs on their hair because it's very moisturizing. I've tried avocado before but honestly I find that to be a waste because I'd rather just eat the fruits. 
the last tip is to trim your hair every two months. Now, trimming your hair won't send signals to your brain to make your hair grow. What it will do is it will keep the split ends at bay. And as you know, when you have split ends and you just leave it there without cutting it, it will continue to split and break. So it's actually better to get rid of the split ends before it splits up even higher. So I hope that answers some of your questions about my hair. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. And for those of you who have hair tips that work for you, feel free to share them with us down below in the comment box because I'm sure a lot of people would want to know. And that's about it. If you guys want to check out any of the products I mentioned, I will list them all in the info box below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in another one. Ciao, Bellas! Subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos and feel free to check out my other hair tutorials.